let's figure out this greater than or less than symbol once and for all. Here's how I remember it. The gator, that's our alligator here, goes for the greater number. So for five and three, five is greater than three. So the gator here, it's going to open its mouth up and it's going to eat the larger number. Here's our gator. Okay, I tried. So if you remember the greater side here, the gator's mouth is open. It goes for the greater number. Nom, 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 gator. Okay, now you try one. Put that greater than, less than symbol right here between these two numbers. Pause and give that a try. So remember, the gator goes for the greater number, so it's going to open up its mouth to eat that delicious six right there because six is greater than two. Here's our gator. And six is greater than two. The greater side here goes towards the greater number. Chomp. One last one. Pause. Give this a try. So would you rather have one half of a cake or one full cake? Probably would like the full cake, as would the gator. So we open the gator's mouth up to eat that cake. And one, that's greater than one half. Here's our gator. That's my best gator yet. Leave a comment if you think so. Okay, so one is greater than one half. So what about the less than symbol? Well, it just really depends how you read the problem. We could say one is greater than one half, or we could say one half is less than one. This points to the lesser number. So it's really kind of the same thing. This is our greater than and less than symbol. So that's it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.